as you can see in this presentation so today we will learn how to create a salesforce project in vs code and then as you can see in this skin we will try to learn how to authorize your project with a salesforce org org so what step we have to do first we have to create a project with manifest in vs code then we will check how the folder structure is look like and again while while doing a manifest project we will try to check where the package.xml is located and how its default look like and finally we will try to authorize the salesforce org from our vs code assuming vs code and cli setup are already there in your machine if it's not then please click on the i button above and check how to uh, install vs code and salesforce command line and also the extension pack in vs code okay let's go step by step so what is our first step we have to create a manifest project in vs code so for the same first you have to go to vs code editor so you can go from your you know desktop icon by double click it or you can also type vs code okay and click it here so once you click here so your vs code editor will open so you can see my vs code editor is opening and very initial phase it will look like this now before uh, creating any project you first have to create a local folder where you want to you know uh, put your uh, project okay so i am going to my local machines and I have created a Salesforce workspace folder here and under it I want to keep my project so you have to create a empty folder which uh, also be called a workspace okay then just go to your visual uh, code editor again and if you are working with Windows machine just press Control shift P and if you are working with Mac then you have to press command shift p so as i am working in a uh, windows machine so let me press control shift p so once you you know uh, press control shift p it will open a command palette palette like this so in this common palette you have to type create project so once you type this one so you can get two options so click in the first options create project with manifest why i am doing this one because i want to work in a development org okay so if you are going to work in a development org on sandbox or sandbox so you have you can you know select this option so once you click it here it will open a, another window like this now no need to choose any other options just uh, make it as you know template as default now click on this option standard project template okay now here it asking enter project name so let me put my project name as like demo vs code project now click enter so once you click enter okay it will ask that you know workspace or folder you have created that locations okay so instead of you know uh, creating from here i recommended first create your workspace and then link to your workspace from here okay so i have created my workspace here so this is my workspace salesforce workspace so i am just re you know linking this and then click on this create project now you can see a project demo vs code project this is created with you know number of folder structure okay so you can understand how we can you know create our project now again let me go to my ppt to check what is the next step so, so my project with manifest is created now my second you know uh, point is that project folder structure so how the project folder structure will be look like let's check that one so again let me go to the vs code now here you can see there is a uh, json file named sfdx project so click here 
so you can see it's giving that what is the default path so my path is set as a force app okay and also you can see uh, the sfdc login url it's set as a login.salesforce.com so if you want to you know work with sandbox so you have to change it like test.salesforce.com for my case i am just uh, putting it as it is because i will work on a, on my development or okay now what is this path force app so here this path folder is very important because if you check this force hyphen app so this folder is available here if i expand this folder so you can see under main and default there are number of folder already available here okay and if you check the folder name these are nothing but the locations of your exact exact component or salesforce component so if you, you see here it's a aura it's then a class then content asset flexi page layout lwc objects permission set static resource tab trigger so these are nothing but uh, locations where your uh, you know the salesforce component if it's a trigger so that trigger will come here if it's a tab then it will come here if it's a static resource it will come under it okay if it's a permission set that will come under this so all your you know salesforce component uh, will be located based on this folder structure now coming back to my ppt again to check the next step so here you can see we have created the first and second step now the third step is package.xml as we have created a manifest project so let's check where the package.xml is located and by default how it look like so again let me go to the vs code now here you can see there is a folder called manifest okay so if you expand here so you can see there a package.xml already created and if i click in this package.xml so you can see it already you know created with a structure like this okay so you know few default component already you know available in your package.xml so what is this package.xml here basically you can see the apex class apex component apex page okay similarly there are other very uh, you know uh, salesforce component related uh, you know metadata are available here and all are by default set as star so you can you know on the time of retrieve or you know deploy you can you know uh, you know decorate this package.xml based on your requirement now let me go to my ppt again so we have already created our manifest project we check the important folder structure okay and we also check the uh, you know manifest folder where the package.xml is located and by default how it's look like now our next step we have to you know authorize our project okay with a uh, salesforce org so as you can see this structure so in this vs code we have already created a local you know project now we have to link it in a salesforce org okay so how to do that so let's go to the vs code again now here we have this project and currently this project is you know uh, located in my local folder where i have you know created that workspace so if i go to my workspace so this is my salesforce workspace okay and here you can see the demo vs code project is created here so if i expand here so these are nothing but the same folder structure which is you know available in our vs code editor okay now this is my local copy and i want to you know sync this local copy uh, with a salesforce org now to authorize an org you have to go to the command palette as i am working with windows machines so i am pressing ctrl shift p and it will open a command palette here you just type auth and once you type this one so you can get an option sfdx colon authorize an org click on this options now you can get a project default and for my case it's look like login.salesforce.com why sure because in sfdx-project.json file i have already set up my you know default url as login.salesforce.com so in your case if you are working with you know a sandbox then set it there a sandbox so then it will a project default automatically come with 
test.salesforce.com okay otherwise you can go from here as well okay so for my case i am just clicking on this project default so once i click on this project default it's come as a bs org just the next options ignore it for the time being and click enter so once you click enter in back end system will try to redirect with a you know your default org to you know connect with login.salesforce.com to give you the credentials okay to authorized an org yeah, sometime it will take bit time so just wait for that now you can see it will automatically redirect to login.salesforce.com here i have to you know give the credentials so let me put the username and password here so once i put the proper username and password here so parallelly you can see uh, in my uh, you know bs code some progress bar you can see it here running sfdx authorize and org this is running so once my uh, login is done properly in my you know uh, browser so it will give me an option that authorize an org successfully run so that's mean in browser it is already you know uh, the credential is already verified and it open in browser as well okay so if i go to the browser you can see the login is done successfully and it is trying to redirect in my uh, development org now if i go to the bs code again show my project demo bs code uh, project this project is now sync with that particular development org and once the login done successfully or authorization done successfully the cli remember your credentials okay now you are ready to you know uh, retrieve or you know deploy your code base from you know bs code to salesforce or salesforce to bs code so if i try to you know conclude what we did till now so let me go to the ppt again so as for this presentation so i have already created a project with manifest in bs code and also i have created a local workspace where i you know uh, set my project with manifest okay then we check what is the you know folder structure you know bs code was created okay then we also check the package.xml as we have created the manifest project so we check the package.xml how it's it's look like and also where the package.xml is located and finally once our project is you know done in bs code the next step we have to do that we already did authorized a salesforce org okay so from bs code we you know authorized through some you know uh, command palette okay and that authorization done with a salesforce org so these are the things we have to do to you know create a project and you know to authorize a salesforce org from bs code hope you can understand you know how to create a project with manifest what is the folder structure what is the package.xml and how to authorize a salesforce org i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching please do subscribe click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel